Hi everybody, so uh, we finally did it. We made our biggest uh, upgrade for life in general and for astrophotography as well. We moved to a new location, a new apartment with a ground floor and a yard outside where I can put my tripod down on solid ground. This is going to be a huge upgrade for me. Do you remember seeing the video of my telescope mounted up in the corner of the balcony, strapped on the railing with some uh, jack straps or what you call them, tighten it together, going out to the balcony to polar align, having to go back inside so that the floor or the telescope wouldn't wobble. Well, let me show you our new backyard. For now, I'm super pleased with the location. Uh, it's gonna be uh, excited to see uh, how it is uh, imaging from here. Uh, hopefully the weather clears up and uh, I can have another great night as, uh, as yesterday. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can uh, show an image uh, at the end. Tonight I'm gonna image the East Whale. Uh, it will come right across this uh, this roof here at around uh, 10 o'clock. Hopefully I will be able to get around maybe roughly four hours of HA oxygen and uh, some RGB stars as well. So let's see how it goes and uh, what we can uh, produce from a bottle 8, bottle 9 location in the capital of Norway. The telescope I'm using is a uh, TS Optics Newtonian. It's an 8 inch reflector with an aperture of f4. So it's about 800 millimeters of focal length. Guiding this telescope, I have uh, mounted on the Skywatcher Evo Guide 50. It's an uh, apochromatic doublet with two Ohara EV glass lenses. Uh, I mounted a 2x Barlow, which gives me 484 millimeters of native focal length at f.96. The ASI 290mm mini guide camera is very light sensitive and works like a charm on this setup. My imaging rig is held up with for now a standard Ioptron tripod with a 15cm Ioptron pier that gives an extra clearing for my telescope so it doesn't collide with the tripod legs when it's slewing around. The iOptron CM40EC have been working great and the only setback to this center equatorial mount is balancing it. It has to be done in three axes, but once it's balanced, it's a great mount in a small and lightweight build. The encoder in the RA axis helps the mount guide super well. Keeping the cables neat and in place is the Pegasus Powerbox Advanced. This is a great tool for connecting everything together and powers all my equipment except the mount itself. My imaging camera is the ASI 294mm monochrome camera, together with a 7-slot EFW and filters from CWO, it helps me gather light millions of years old. I usually aim for minus 10 degrees Celsius and a gain of 120. Normally, I take my narrowband subs at 1 to 5 minutes. 
the East Whale Nebula was shot with 2 minute subs for HA and Oxygen 3 and 30 seconds each for RGB stars. It's amazing what you can do from a capital like Oslo here in Norway. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you have uh, any questions you want to ask. As always, leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to. I uh, promise that there will be uh, a lot more uh, stuff coming up in the near future. Uh, I have some uh, awesome uh, stuff coming my way from uh, Telescope Express as well. So be sure to check out my channel in the future and I'll see you then. Until then, clear skies and keep looking up in the night sky.